there. Thank you for watching my video. Would you like to see the track? Yeah, let's let's talk about the song. Okay, so we're in here in my project, and we'll just go at the top and work our way down. So the very first thing I have in here is the original Helldivers track. Because as it turns out, he wrote it on a grid, which is how I was able to do these drums. So the drums are being powered by this free plugin that I found. They just had a synth wave kick. Amazing toms, love those toms. Um, and the song is actually, as you'll notice down here, in 5-4 time. So that, that's why that groove feels a little bit wonky. Really love how it picks up in the second half here, get, get some more like rhythmic elements going on. And then there is one bar of six right here where the where the drop happens. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it like kind of goes into almost a halftime feel there, kind of gives space for that. Super cool. Really happy with how that came out. So first thing we've got on the drums is this bass. This is, of course, my Stingray. I've got a lot of the lows scooped out. Um, I am just using my same preset that I use for everything with just a little bit of EQ and compression there. And the reason why I scooped out a lot of the lows on this and why I use the Stingray in the first place is because they really excel at that like high mids thing is because I'm doubling it with this bass synth that goes underneath. And actually, there are three different synth patches happening on here. That in the intro, we kind of have like a boop, boop. And then in the second half, it gets really gnarly. And that is coming from my Novation base station. It's an analog synth. It's awesome. I love this thing. I don't use it nearly enough, and I'm glad it got some love on this track. Next thing, let's talk about these lead guitars. So I wanted it to sound just like one big guitar. So the trick to do that is that you double record it and then pan them really hard left and right. And then you end up with this sound. That is of course just my made in Mexico Fender Tele. And again, just Amplitude. It's just one of the built-in presets called Lead Solo. Didn't make any changes to it. Tiny bit of EQ. I've also got this like fast part. And then the part where they harmonize, just like, I, I love teasing that until till the second half of it. It just hits so good. Amazing. Love it. Next, um, we've got this synth lead, and this is just serving as sort of like a... Um, a source for like counter melodies, so in between those gaps in the guitar parts. Uh, and then there was this one part, you see the synth lead two. This was just a part that I couldn't figure out how to play, and so I just ended, I spent like 30 minutes on it, could not get a good performance, so I just wrote it in MIDI. And the MIDI patch that I'm using is uh, something called a sound font where you can rip the sounds from old SNES games. And that happens to be the trombone, I guess, from Donkey Kong Country. Uh, I pulled that same trick again on the pads here. This is just like a string patch from Donkey Kong Country. Next, we've got a rhythm guitar. It's buried pretty deep in the mix, but it is doing some neat stuff. This is probably my favorite little bit. Sounds cool. Um, next thing we've got is this arpeggiator that just happens in the second half of the song. This is also where I dumped off that random little like whoop at the beginning. Um, and then the arpeggiator is just adding some extra texture when things get crazy in the second half. It absolutely does not line up with the track because being in 5 4 is kind of wonky, but it Kind of just fits the sort of chaotic vibe of the game, so it, it works, I guess. And then, of course, we've got some other just sound design stuff. There's the riser. And then we get a second one of those, but I have it um, panning right to left, so it kind of feels like it zooms. 
games. And then this very last thing is just the, the drop that happens, that one part that hits super hard. And it was just a this was just a random one that I found on some YouTube video and he just said, Go go get my sample pack and I went, Okay. So yeah, that's my track. Not much to it. I, I'm actually uh, surprised looking through here how how little there is going on and how big it sounds. But anyway, I'm really excited with how that came out. I've also uploaded just the song all by itself on my gaming channel. So it's the Sticky Band, it's gaming. It was a gaming channel that my brother and I made it forever ago and then never really did much with. Uh, but we've been playing a ton of Helldivers lately, so we're going to be doing a lot of that. And then, of course, when the Elden Ring DLC comes out, you know you know that I'm going to be playing that. And so if you want to watch me play that, uh, it'll be over on that channel. I, I don't know what we'll be doing yet, but uh, that's where it'll happen if I do anything. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you later.